she wasn't only my daughter, she was my best friend. Phyllis King tells me she hasn't stopped crying since Martin County deputies found her daughter Carla Baggett dead in her bedroom Saturday. King lived in this single wide trailer with her daughter, her daughter's boyfriend Randall Johnson, and her grandson. They told me that she had been dead three days, and he lay there beside her three days telling me that she was okay and she wasn't okay. She'd been dead. Deputies charged Randall Johnson with concealing Carla Baggett's death. Even the deputies, when they walked up to the door, you know, they could smell the un unusual odor. So that's where we just started and, you know, walked in the bedroom and there she was. King hadn't seen her daughter alive since Wednesday, but says Johnson told her Baggett had taken too much Xanax and was sleeping off the prescription drug. And I asked him, I said, Brandy, is she okay? And he said, yes, she's okay. I said, well, she's sleeping a long time. I went back in there that night, she was still sleeping. I went back in the next morning, she was still sleeping. I said, I'm going to call 911. I, I've got, she's got to wake up. She's been in here too long. And he says, no, no, no. He says, she's okay. Finally, three days later, she checked on her daughter one last time and called 911. Saturday when I went in there and made my mind up, I'm going to crawl over there. I want my daughter awake. And when I felt her, she was dead.